everybody we're working. Hello, my creative crew. I'm Susan, owner of the Withered Barn here in Homedale, Idaho. And we ate a DIYers decor supply boutique. And we also have um, some of my own creations here available. And we carry our chalk brand paint of choice, Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint. Quickly, if you see the little red live above, that means you guys are joining live. So please be sure to say hello, let me know where you're joining from, and also give us some hearts and some likes, and please share. For those likes and shares, we're also gonna do a giveaway for an eight ounce Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint for you guys to use. And um, let me tell you guys, this No Wax Chalk Paint goes a long ways. Um, this cabinet that we're gonna be doing today, which I'll show you in a minute, I, I will probably only use half to three quarters of one of these jars, so you could easily do a small dresser with one. Um, if you are joining later on and the Little Red Live isn't there, that means you're uh, watching the video on replay. So if you would hashtag replay so that we can see everywhere where our videos have reached, that would be fantastic. Um, today, I want to let you guys know um, you are on the Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint page. And it will also be posted on their YouTube page and I'll try to get it on mine as well as my business page, The Withered Barn. Uh, this video is going to be a multi-live video because I'm going to take you start to finish so you guys can actually see the process. And so what I'm going to be doing, let me move this out of the way, is that over there. Um, I'm going to be doing this sewing cabinet right here. I've got limited space today. But I'm going to be doing this sewing cabinet and we'll scoot it down when it's time. But I want you guys to all put your two cents in. Which color, because I'm so indecisive and there's a hundred, over a hundred and fifty Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint colors. So you can definitely have options, and I'm not good with options, so I'm letting you guys choose the color. I've chose five right here. We have Rosebuds in June, which is kind of a vintage -y pink. We've got Industrial, which is like a charcoal black, but not like a shiny black. And then we've got Winchester Blue, Moss, did I just paint a chair? No, moss, I'm, this is my next chair. And then we've got dusty blue. And before you guys start making comments as to which one you choose, let me show you the hardware that we're putting on this. It's right here. It's like a pale hint of a rose gold vintage handle. And what I'm going to be doing is transforming this uh, vintage sewing cabinet into a beverage cart with wheels and casters so you can use it as an island or for your coffee bar. These little handles will be put on the sides and we'll be adding shelving to it. That shelving and stuff I'll do all off live but the actual process on the cart, I'm gonna be doing on the lives. I'm hoping to get it finished in two lives, but it may be three because of the amount of embellishing we want to do. So, um, and the glazing. I wanna show you guys that as well. So here's your colors. I'm gonna leave them up here for right now. Um, also, we've got Miss Lillian themselves, uh, and they will be actually commenting and answering some of your questions so that my one hour-ish live doesn't turn into two hours of chit chat and me trying to figure out what I was doing because I get sidetracked really easy. So let me zoom this in so you guys can see the cabinet. 
and I'm going to show you the first step. Okay, right there. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to be doing today, if you can't see me, I apologize. I am still here. I'm just off to the side a little bit. There we go. Um, so the first thing I want to point out is this particular piece is old and it's got, it's really weathered. It looks like it used to have um, a shellac on it. So all I did was take a um, scouring pad and kind of rub it off just so I didn't have any chips on here. Um, when I open this top up, I'll zoom in. You guys can actually see where the chipped shellac is and where I'm working on that. Misha, you want to go ahead and shut the door? The dairy is starting to go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, so that... So after using that scouring pad and getting all those rough spots off, all I'm going to do is, this is ready to go, I'm just gonna wipe it off, but some of these shinier surfaces, we're gonna use Miss um, Lillian Swamp Mud on. And this is my go-to prep for just about everything. If I'm not sure my paint's gonna stick, I'm using this. Now the um, Swamp Mug comes in, correct me if I'm wrong, Miss Lillian's five colors. Black, brown, gray, off-white, and red. So whatever color you're gonna choose, you're gonna want to get a base that's gonna complement your color. Because if you used black with this over it, it's gonna definitely change the tone or coloring of it. Does that make sense? So let me go over here. So um, for this one, because I want to stay somewhat neutral, I'm going with the gray. And like I said, we're going start to finish so you guys will see all the bits and pieces. Where's my scissors? You guys got any questions post them make sure you say hello when you come on I wish I could see everybody's uh, comments I can't see them so I can say hello okay whoops I'm going to wipe that off, and I'm just going to use a plain chip brush to apply my top coat. I'm going to scoot these back just a little bit. Let me turn these around so you can see the colors. Don't forget to like and share so you guys can win your 8 ounce at the end. I'll be pouring this into another jar later because I've got a huge buffet to do and I'm going to finish this off because I'm putting two coats on it of the um, swamp mud or I would just pour it in a container so you don't contaminate it and I'll be using the entire jar on another project today. And what swamp mud does is it gives you grit like for your paint to stick to, especially if you've got a, a smooth surface, um, laminate, uh, a veneer, which is what this is, veneer. And it's got just a hint of texture in it for that reason. On um, the second live, we will be painting it whichever color you guys choose, including some embellishments that we're putting on the side so you can see how we embellish with um, 
Miss Lillian's and Glaze. So somebody asked, is this swamp mud like a primer? It is like a primer. It's um, not, whoops, I've got tape from my molding. Let me move that out of the way. It's not like a um, shellac based though. It's water based. So if you're really worried about bleed through, I, was, I would use Miss Lillian's Pre Prevention for like your um, cherry woods or even the pine tannins coming through a piece. I would use prevention. I'm gonna swing this around, you guys will see where I've added the molds to it. And we're gonna prime that side as well. I'm gonna flip around now. Here we go. Now this had um, a lot of the shiny shellac surface on it. I would be using, um, my preference is uh, the Miss Lillian's First Step. I'd let it soak a minute and then I would scrape it off with a plastic um, putty knife, spatula, and get as much of those little pieces of shellac off. And Swamp Med is self-leveling, the same as Miss Lillian's No X Chalk Paint. You just don't want to overwork it. See, a little bit does go a long way. You guys have any of these vintage uh, sewing machine cabinets? I all of a sudden saw them everywhere. And um, I always check to make sure the sewing machines don't work or if they have working parts, I take them apart and I contact somebody that I know um, can use them or put a whole nother sewing machine together that they've got parts laying around because I don't like wasting anything. Now Miss Lillian's does have um, their own line of paint brushes as well and uh, chip brushes for this purpose. But we are very rural and my shop, <laughs> there goes somebody we know. Uh, my shop um, is out here on our farm and it's not even a year old and we're, we're waiting for the plumbing. We had to wait for winter so that we could get the septic connected and we were just getting that started here last week. So I'll be so excited to put water down here. So in the meantime, I use just the cheap little chip brushes just so that it's the ease of throwing it away. Is it still raining where you guys are? Because it's been, it's been trying here. I'm so used to commenting. I appreciate Miss Lillian's being on there to field questions, though. That's awesome. You know, it's, I'm not getting it live on my phone. 
Um, no, I've got it on my phone. Hi, Regina. How are you doing in Louisiana? You guys hear me talking. My friend Nisha's here. <laughs> Woo -woo. Woo -hoo. Little moral support. I'm in the back. <laughs> she brought me my coffee. Has anybody picked a color yet? Right here. Hi, Christy. Thank you for sharing. Regina, you like the moss? Mm -hmm. That moss is one of my favorites. And when you, oh, I don't want to do that slide because my molding is still taped. Um, moss with, it's the burnt umber glaze over it and you leave your brush strokes on it. It looks just like mossy wood. So pretty. Hi, Jolene. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Donna. Thank you guys so much for joining and watching. Don't forget when you come on to give us some hearts and likes, share so you can get a free eight ounce. Okay, I'm gonna swing this around. Hi Donna, you like the moss too. Shannon, you like the blue, the dusty blue or the Winchester blue? Give it a minute, make sure I'm still showing up here. Yep. First step to glosser. Absolutely right. And it actually had huge chunks of shellac and that helped me scrape it off. And then I cleaned it one more time with um, first step and then rinsed it with 50-50 water and um, distilled vinegar. And I just squirted it on with this. This is my vinegar. I squirted it on and wiped it off with my towel and um, just let it completely dry. So I did that yesterday. I'm gonna have to add my molds to this side later. I did all that ahead of time. I'll show you real quick what those look like. Right here. So here's the molds. I did them on that side and this side, and look, <laughs> I forgot my painter's tape at my house because I take projects up to the house and then I bring them back down to the shop. So how, how funny is that? That's the, that's the tape I had on hand. Shannon Winchester. I'm gonna move them over here now. Hopefully you can still see them all. Yes, Winchester blue is so pretty. Can you guys see it? So pretty. Where's my, um, and then here's the handle, so you'll see kind of what that'll look like together. And did I already mention my second or third live on this same pro project? Um, I'm doing the lives the first Thursday and the third Thursday here on the Miss Lillian Snow X chalk paint page. Um, but I'm thinking on the third one is will be the final one and I'm gonna do a foam marble on the top of this. It opens up. That way you guys can see the entire thing right before we put our top coat on. Hi, Kelly. Uh, the handle, I'm sure, is what you're talking about, right? It's a, it's a very pale 
vintagey gold color, almost a hint of a like a rose gold in it. And so these are going to go on the sides in between those molds to hang pot holders or a dish towel, bar towel. Whoever the lucky new owner is will decide what they want to use it for. Okay. You can see how smooth this swamp mud goes on. I haven't decided though, I've, um, I've seen them with a the shelf added on here, but I'm thinking I want to do a beveled glass on there. Just to kind of modern it up just a little bit, a little bit um, unique. Yes, be sure to like, share, give me some hearts. Now I can paint some of this front because it's already glued on, but the other half, I don't know if it's gonna slide on me. I think it will, it will. So I can do this portion. What's everybody got planned this weekend? What are we doing? <laughs> We're going to jackpot. Yep, there's the color choices. Everybody vote. How often do you get to pick the color someone's gonna paint? So this opens right there. I'm gonna have to stop halfway right about here is all I can paint too, because this is still wet. And you know what? I've used uh, this swamp mud on galvanized buckets. Because you know how um, galvanized buckets, they, they have that little dustiness to them. And I wanted to ensure that my paint was really going to stick. And I used um, the metallic paints, the torrid teal and the copper, and made my lights here in my shop. Now because this um, swamp mud, this Lillian swamp mud, has that little bit of texture, it's going to kind of vintage up my molds because these were not clay, they're um, casting resin. And you'll see once I'm done painting, it's going to look like it was part of the piece. Oops, like the piece in my eye. Do I have a picture of the light somewhere? You know what, Shannon, when I'm um, done, I'll give you guys a quick look at my lights. And you can see, I use Miss Lillian on those uh, 
back in last April, I think it was, and it might have been before that. And I love them. That's what my uh, logo is designed after right here. One of our lights that I made with Miss Lillian's metallic paints. You know when you're trying consciously not to put your back to the picture or a camera? I, I'm doing that the whole time, trying <laughs> not to turn. This one's still wet, so. That one's a touch wet too, so we'll slide by that one. I'm gonna paint over the hardware too. That's already here, it's just this little um, hook. And we'll be working on that later too in the last live see it already looks like it's already like it's been there forever I got a little bit of something right there but I'll sand that off So there's my first steps. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this to dry and I'll do this, um, the rest of the swamp mud off camera. And then, um, like I said, uh, April 18th is our next live. And we will be painting and working on a faux marbling technique for the top and once it's open, both tops. And don't forget, we're picking a winner for the um, eight ounce free jar. Once it dries in, I can see where did I miss because I was talking. Right there's some more. Pull that out so I can do this. This piece has a really cute, see how red this is? It's really red. I think that's a stain though. Um, has a really cool feature. It has the original, um, where the sewing machine sits, the original measuring tape in gold. So I'm gonna try really hard to keep that. And we're gonna be putting a shelf here. And like I said, maybe the glass one at the bottom, depending on the price. Cause I'm extremely thrifty, not cheap, thrifty. <laughs> You know, I, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I think this kind of smells a little bit old. It, I mean, it doesn't smell like smoke or anything. It smells old, like it's been sitting there. So I'll probably use, let me grab it real quick. Right here, Miss Lillian's brush drawers. I'm gonna take this and wipe the entire inside down once I'm done um, doing the swamp mud and let that sit in there. If you guys could smell this, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And it's all essential oils. It's, um, I think it's hemp oil. Let me find the full bottle. 
hemp oil. Yeah, here it is. So it's hemp oil, coconut oil, essential fragrance oils, and you can use it to revive, moisturize, and deodorize dry old wood, or even on your new wood. Um, our old house is built in the 1880s, and it had the original wood cabinets, let me tell you. No good. Um, until I was able to paint them, I was rubbing this on the bottom of the cabinet that where the countertop is. I was rubbing it on there just to keep the, the smell from walking in my kitchen feeling like it was old until I was able to, to put new cabinets in and paint them. But this stuff is a lifesaver. Fresh drawers. I wish you guys could smell it. smell o vision smell o live That would be good. Yes, that would be good. And it comes in 12, Miss Lillian's, 12 cents, oh, 20 cents, 20. So I know um, she just sent me a gift and I was, I gotta open them right here of um, a couple of the scents I didn't have. So there is Apple cinnamon, holiday wreath, anything, pine, eucalyptus, I'm there, that's me. Pumpkin pie, oh, I love that one too. And sangria, ooh, sangria. I might have to smell all those. So 20 cents, not $20 cents, 20 fragrant cents. I can smell that from here. Can you smell it? I can smell Just it. Just from me opening it? Just yeah, from me opening, it's yeah. awesome. It smells wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is really good, and it's not like overpowering. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, I missed a cobweb. There's my door. So I'm getting ready. This is going to be my last one because the rest of the molds aren't dry. And I'll show you my galvanized bucket chandeliers that I made with Miss Lillian's metallic paint. Um, and then we'll let Miss Lillian's tell us who won for sharing and commenting and liking. Susan, do most of your viewers use this paint? They do. They do. Mm -hmm. Because just seeing it's it. It's super easy. Yeah. Just seeing very it. Very beginner friendly. Yes. I can't believe how well it covers like just one. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. It is. It's really good coverage. Mm -hmm. It dries buttery soft, silky smooth, and um, it's self-leveling. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. Did what a lot of people it? do, I think, when they first start is they go over it and over it and over it until it starts to clump, and that's what leaves the little line. So you, you just got to feel when it starts to drag, mm -hmm. stop. Okay. And then you don't get lines. Wow. Sorry, I had a question. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Betty. You like it in the Swamp Mud Gray? This is pretty, too. I think I want a cheerful color though. I want something either completely dark and elegant or I want kind of that spring look or maybe like a little French chateau-ish look. Those are my three because I need a little uplift because of all this weather. So that's why I chose those. And this one too. This one, um, as Nish says, brings me joy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It must bring you joy. Yeah. <laughs> so let me look at the comments real quick, see what color everybody's picked. I'm going to swing this shut. Okay. Betty, you like the blue, the, the dark blue or the light blue? I'll let you guys all know 
what was picked when we come on on the 18th, 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time again. Hello, Shannon. Yes, 20 cents. I'm gonna open them all. I can't smell them through there, but the orange slice is like orange and vanilla. It's, it's just so good. So good. Okay. I think we're just uh, waiting to hear who won for sharing, commenting, the eight ounce Miss Lily is no wax chalk paint. And I'm gonna take my camera real quick and show you guys the Miss Lillian's metallic bucket chandeliers. All right. So let me grab my camera. And then you guys, I wanna thank you for joining. Make sure you go um, like our page, The Withered Barn. So here they are. That's my chandeliers. You can see I got paint in today over my counter. And then that one, what? Beautiful, Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint Metallics. Right here, right here. Torrid teal and copper is what I used. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys on the 18th. Let's see, who won the color? The winner is Tony Colwell. I hope you, I said your name right. Tony, you won one of the eight ounce no wax chalk paints. Yay. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Thank you, Nora. Uh, the colors again, Shannon um, is Moss. Dusty Blue, Winchester Blue, Industrial, and Rosebuds. And where did I put the handle? Oh, here's the handle. Here's the handle that I'm going to be using. It's kind of a vintage gold-like. It almost has, in real colors, a hint of a um, rose gold to it. Can you see it? So there they are. I'll be looking through the comments, making sure everybody's answered. Um, again, like Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint, like The Withered Barn, and we will see you April 18th. Have a great weekend.